Ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see who will go on to under siege the fight for the money in the bank contract. There goes Alex Skiffer, looking for clothesline, kind of by Zion. Ooh, another clothesline by Alex, and look at this nice back suplex. And there he goes, Alex Skiffer through the table, oh my god. Not finish the boot to the face. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, we are about to see. Here it is, Zion, looking for the Zion Turner, countered into an RKO from out of nowhere. Alex Silver somehow able to implant the skull into the canvas, but we count one, two, three, we have a winner going on to under siege. The guy that can achieve his dream, Alex Silver. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Zion TV. This is way better than You Suck TV because Seth Evans is nothing but a jobber and only defended his title eight times and think that he's better than everybody else. He beats you and green bar you anytime. Just call me and tell me when. Now, I'm your face of America because Zion, I know who you are. You're a guy with a paper championship around your waist. You know, I'm but a fake ass one of these Seth Evans, but I, I, I'm the new face of America. Ladies and gentlemen, there goes Zion looking for a Zion Turner. Carried by Alex Spiffer into that jumping cross cutter from out of nowhere. This could be it. We could have a new United States champion. One, two. We have a new United States Champion! Ladies and gentlemen, the guy that has been working his ass off all year now has achieved his dream of becoming the United States Champion! This is a new era! The face of America has been made! Thank you, Faze! gentlemen we have here we go the match y'all been waiting for we having a third conversation we're gonna have Alex Silva taking on Zion for the third time for the United States Championship who will win who is better who will proceed Oh no, Zion, he's about to hit it, he's wrapping the gift, he's getting the present set up, he is already ready, there he goes, boot you asses! Who will win? Who will be the one that can take the claim of being the face? of America, the guy on your left, Alex Silva, or the guy with the hands and face to the right, Zion, who will win, who will proceed, who will bring America to a new generation, you will find out of it. Ladies and gentlemen, we are back here to Season Beatings Part 2. We have the former Face of America, the former United States Champion, Zion. He is now in his last ditch effort to try and get back his United States Championship against a man known as FaZe, aka Alex Spiva. This is his last ditch effort. This is his last chance. Can he prevail? 
Can he prove that America needs Zion? Can he win back the U.S. Championship? Can he put Zion TV back on the air? You will find out in this match. This match is for all the stakes. Can Will he even beat FaZe, a.k.a. Alex Spiva? Or will he fall up to 0-3 against FaZe, a.k.a. Alex Spiva? And be the one man in MCW that Zion just can't beat? This is for all the marbles. This is for everything. Last week on Retribution, he proved he made a statement when he was able to beat and defeat Devin Legrand on the episode of Retribution. He was able to beat the world champion. So being the U.S. champion, a.k.a. Faze, a.k.a. Alex Spiva, should be no, no different. He needs to come in here and get the job done. This is for the United States Championship, a championship that is whole prestigious here at MCW. Everyone who has held the U.S. Championship has had long runs, long preceding runs. And ladies and gentlemen, the guy that was able to achieve his dream at Under Siege, this is the one and only, the man, the myth, the legend, the one that, the one that prevails over all others. This is Alex Spiva. This is the guy that has just won the United States Championship from Zion last pay-per-view in an unprecedented beatdown, reversing the Zion Turner into a jumping open wide cutter from out of nowhere to get the one, two, three. All he has to do is just do it one more time. Beat Zion for the third straight time. Solidify yourself as one of the greatest competitors first. One of the best baby faces, one of the fan favorites here. He even was so happy that he won the United States Championship. He even brought his wife to sit there and cheer him on ringside. I believe that Alex Silva is just a common man that wants to seek one goal, win championships, and make his name relevant here in MCW. He has been the workhorse of retribution all year and achieved his lifelong destiny. His dream of winning the United States Championship at Under Siege. A whole president of events that came and aligned together to make Alex Silva to become your new face of America. And all he has to do is beat Zion one more time. That's all he got to do. Step into the ring in the Zion den. Pin him. Pin him and beat him, pin him in the middle of the ring and prove to him, prove to the people that you are the face of America, that you are a true, deserving, relevant champion here at MCW. Prove to you that the title matter, prove to you that you matter, prove to them that Zion is nothing but a piece of shit. That's what you need to do. Go in there, beat him. Be his tactics, be his annoying ass aerial game, beat everything that is Zion. Just get the one, two, three. Zion is going to do everything in his power to hold on to that championship, to win it back. Man, I spoke the, I spoke the phase in the. Okay. This is what it's all about. It's all about the United States Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, that is the American Dream, Zion. He wants to win the U.S. title. Will he do anything? Champion from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, weighing in at 188 pounds. He is the FCW United States Champion, the Diamond Alex. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your first ever cruiserweight-born United States champion. That is Alex Spiva, a.k.a. FaZe. That man know how to win championships. He know how to get it done in a ring. That's what's all about, that United States championship. That could be his last time of him looking at it. This is his first title defense ever since Under Siege. Zion looking at it. He wants to win that championship back at all costs. He will do everything. He wants Zion TV. He wants to be the face of America. That's what it's all about, the United States championship. It's all about that gold. That's a very prestigious title here in MCW. Both competitors know what that title means, and they will do everything in their power to win it. Here it is. Look at that. Zion's in the corner. Faze, a.k.a. Spilver in the corner. Look at that. Zion's running outside the ring, playing a little bit of mind games on the outside. He's trying to test pace. He's trying to do what he does best, test the patience of his opponent. 
If you test the patience of his opponent, you get the advantage. Look at that Zion going after that stitch into the midsection, into the gut of FaZe, able to work him down, aka Alex Spiva, looking for another chair shot, misses that time, FaZe looking to drop, kick the legs, misses that time, Zion, FaZe with the no, 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 looking for a forearm shot, countered by Zion, Zion go under, FaZe goes under, look at this, looking for a kick, ooh, countered by Zion with a right forearm, looking for a snapmare, able to get him down on the ground, runs off the ropes with a drop kick to the back of the skull, able to turn FaZe, and look at that, Zion is just sitting there getting cocky of his own work oh no Zion's going after the steel chair off the back of FaZe and again off the back of Alex Spiva sitting there wearing and tearing the spinal cord look at this Zion running countered by Alex Spiva Alex Spiva go up and under looking for that hurt Corona uh oh got him Zion's up he's dialing the phone looking for the 619 and look at this what's FaZe doing going back inside the ring oh no What's face going? Oh, he's going after the steel chair. That Zion put it off the back of the head of Zion. Zion's rolling outside the ring. He is just retreating. Zion's taunting, pandering to the crowd. He's trying, trying to wait for that right moment to strike. Faze is just backing up, waiting for that moment. He's going to hit him with that steel chair. Going after him. Zion counters out. Duck outside the ring. Able to bait him in. Ooh, kicks the leg. Sit there, trip up. Alex Spiva down on the ground. And now he's going inside the ring. He's going to go feed the black like shark when blood is in the water. He's going after the steel chair. Beating him down senseless. Back shot. Skull shot. Just wearing down Alex Spiva. Oh my god, ladies and gentlemen, now Zion's just focusing on key stomps on him. Look at that, getting him up on his feet, looking for an Amish whip, countered by Spiva, got him down in the corner. Oh no, oh, 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 because off the back, oh my god, that steel chair has been a vital weapon here that is introduced by Zion. Look at this, Alex looking for, an, uh, looking for a body slam, countered by Zion, Zion with a Luthez press, looking to sit there, focusing on left shots into the face of Alex Spiva, just wearing him down to the ground. Oh no. What's Zion doing? He's sitting there dragging his opponent. Oh no, got him in the center of the ring. Look at that. Boom! A stiff forearm shot into the jaw of FaZe. Going right back to the steel chair. Off the skull again. Ladies and gentlemen, Zion is a chair specialist. He knows how to use weapons. Oh, FaZe able to sit there. Push away the chair. Zion with a springboard. Misses and FaZe able to drop. Kick Zion in the chest. Bringing him down to the ground. Zion's getting on one knee, he's getting up, uh oh, FaZe was able to grab him, able to turn around, FaZe, knees to the face of Zion, able to wear him down, and now he's going right back to that steel chair, he's looking to wear him out, look at his three months of pent up rage and frustration, and look at that stomping on his knee with the steel chair in front, FaZe, look at him, telling him to come on, bring it on Zion, look at this, and I'm looking for that, oh, Looking for, look, looking for a clothesline, Zion able to sidestep it, taking full advantage of FaZe's arrogance. This is what I like to talk about, Zion looks for the right time. He looks for the right moment, the right time to strike. And that's what Zion just did in this one, look at that. Got the steel chair, and now look at that, ran him out with the steel chair. Repeated shot after repeated shot. Look at that, stomping him down to the ground. Look at this, Zion's getting him up on his feet, kicking him in the midsection, counter by FaZe. FaZe able to grab the feet. Uh-oh, here it is again. Look at this, FaZe dialing up, looking for it one more time. Here it is, 619. FaZe again. Look at this, going back inside the ring, repeating it. Oh, no, ladies and gentlemen, he got the steel chair for a third time. Look at this, just beating the midsection. Counter by Zion. Oh, hits the referee. FaZe able to speak. Zion counters. Look at that oh, inverted neck drop by Zion, taking full advantage of the miscue by Alex Spiva. Oh my god, look at this now, he's wearing him down with the steel chair. Look at this blow after blow, shot after shot. And look at this, Zion, oh, with that knee, with that knee brace, just kneeing him in the ribs. Look at that with that face of America knee, look at that, that knee strap. That is pure steel, and he is just wearing him down. Look at this, and again with the steel chair. Look at this, and again with the unrelented, granted steel of that steel chair. Just wearing him down. Oh no, Zion's dragging him to the center of the ring. He is wrapping the present, ladies and gentlemen. He is about to hit the world famous, the patented. Able to sit there, shove the foot between the ass of phase, and just wearing him down. Oh no. What's happening now? Look at this Zion guys he's going right back to the steel chair. Look at this. Oh, and another chair shot to the throat. And again to the ass. Look at that drop in the chair again. Look at that stomping down phase, phase rolling outside the ring. Sitting there tight, taking his time. Zion, look at that, trying to play mind games. This is what he loves to do. He loves to bait his opponent to the rope. Uh oh, uh oh, what's gonna happen now? What's Zion doing? Look, oh, look for the kick down by phase into a jumping cutter. Counted by Zion. That one cutter could be all he needs. 
And Zion knows it. That's why he was able to sidestep it. All he did faces needs one cutter. That one cutter can just decide the complexity of the match. Look at this Zion running around, trying to sit there, bait him in. Faye is able to back up, catch the legs of Zion, dragging him to the center of the ring. Oh no, oh no, he's contorting the legs. Oh my god, he's just sit there, worked the kneecaps of Zion, and Faze is getting the steel chair, waiting for Zion to get inside the ring. Zion's just completely scared. He don't know what to think of. He never uh, he never went against a disfocus of a competitor. Look at this. Faze is backing up, playing mind games again, looking for the steel chair shot. Went too early, looking for a clothesline, misses. Zion off the ropes, looking for a right jack, looking for a basement drop kick, off the rope again. Zion, oh no, looking for that standing vertical suplex. No, counter by Faze, punch him in the gut. No, oh, look at that basement drop kick, able to work the left leg of Zion, drop him down the size. Now turning him over, and there goes Faze. Look at this, looking for that dead lift. Oh my god, what a dead lift, neck breaker by Faze. The strength of upper core body strength is just unrelentless. And look at this. Look at you use that steel chair as full potential. And look at FaZe getting Zion up again. Telling him to come on. I want competition. Oh! Kick to the and then kick off the face. That's the finisher. Zion, he can win back the United States Championship. Couldn't he at one, two, and three. Oh, FaZe somehow able to get the shoulder up off of a Zion finisher with a super kick. That super kick was the one that ended Devin Legrand last week on Retribution. Somehow FaZe was able to get the shoulder up. Oh no, able to reverse the kick. Oh, drop kicks the leg, misses it off the ropes. Going to run around, what's he planning on doing? What's he planning on doing? Look at this. Zion's backing up, FaZe is backing up. They're wait, they, they, they waiting for each other to make one miscue. They're just waiting for it. They're waiting for the one miscue. And they go FaZe with the jumping around the world dragon, Nora Cutter. Here it is, one. Two and three! Zion able to get the shoulders up. This is for the United States Champion, ladies and gentlemen. This is for the United States Championship, ladies and gentlemen. Zion and FaZe know exactly what the freak this title means. And look at that, able to kick out of each other's finishers. And FaZe able to drop him down with the chair. Now stomping on him, working down Zion, going back to the chair, using the Zion combo against them. Oh my god, look at this. He is making sure that he suffers. He is making sure that Zion is not going to be able to answer. Look at this. He's getting him up one more time. Telling him to come on. Where is the Zion? He knows. Look at this. Zion. Look at the fireman's carry. Able to work the opponent. Get him over the shoulders. Looking for a finisher. Kind of by FaZe. FaZe with a nice. Oh. Looking for a schoolboy. Wait. I'm supposed to shoot. Super kick to the face. Oh no. Zion's dazed. He's a little bit dazed. Look at this. Looking for a right arm. Oh. Kind of by Zion with a right arm on his own. And look at this Zion. Going back outside the ring. Playing those mind games look at that this is what he loves to do he loves to buy time he loves to sit there work the uh, patience of an opponent oh look at this running around look at this he's trying to make phase hit a move too early look at this trying to make phase just hit a move just a little bit too early and zion knows it's not working phase is not falling for that he wants to win the united states championship he wants to be the best and look at that zion is just testing the patience of phase look at that playing bladed mind games just fucking with him, just knowing, just waiting for the one moment for FaZe to get up in his face, just blatantly, oh, what the fuck are you talking about, he's just fucking stalling, look at this, stalling hard as shit, this is what Zion do, blatant definition of stalling, look at this, running around the apron, look at that stalling, oh, Zion got in the ring, ladies and gentlemen, Zion got in the ring, oh, I spoke too soon, look at that, Zion stalling again, look at that, oh, this is what he get, look, fucking stalling, we're gonna go over the foreheads of Zion, look at this, now, you know why he can't have that bandana on? Because of his big ass forehead. Oh, here it is. Oh, we got some action. Oh, no, Zion back on the apron. Look at this. Going back inside the ring. And now Zion going back on the apron. Look at that. He is being scared. Ladies and gentlemen, if he does this, you have the right to completely hit him. He literally never went outside the ring. Look at that. And look at that. Going in. Can't say no, no, no. Here it is. Oh, my God. A dragon more. Cover. Down to nowhere. One. Two and three things able to retain the United States Championship of the blatant stall by Zion. That's what he did, and that's what he did for fucking doing all that stalling. He again goes 0-3 against Spain for the United States Championship. Zion just cannot beat Faze. The one opponent that he cannot beat. And it's the one opponent that he cannot beat. Look at that. Zion and FaZe went full throttle at the beginning. Went back and forth with a competitive contest of pure strikes and wrestling know-how. Then it went and broke down to them using the chair. Look at this. Fifth, 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 fifth shot from Zion. Able to work him down. 
Look at that, that critical knee strike to Zion to sit there and make his neck whiplash. But this was just when Zion was able to sit there and get the full advantage. Making Faze sit there, hit the referee with the steel chair, using the referee as a shield. And then he was able to wrap the present, deliver the gift, sit in there, point between the butt cheeks, looking for the field goal that was good. And look at that, stomping him down the side. And Zion sitting there looking for that patent cheek cut. This is the counter that Faze needed to deliver that drop kick to the knee. Sitting there taking out the bad knee of Zion that he had had the nagging injury for. And then Faze with the upper core body strength to hit a dead lift power. The strength of a dead lift neck breaker in the center of the ring able to sit there. So, but this was when Faze got a little bit too cocky. Telling Zion to come on and this when Zion answered the challenge. Hit him with a dead set finisher. I thought he could have won back the championship right then. Right then here. I thought he could have won back the title with a one, two, and a three. Then now he was kicked out. It was like amazing. I thought he could have sealed the deal and then when Faze hit that running cutter to Zion that Zion did not see coming from out of nowhere. And I thought this was going to from Zion. Look at this one, two, and a three. But somehow able to get the shoulder up. Somehow Faze and Zion went toe for toe. And that's when he was hit the Lethal kick. But this was the end all be all. When after the blatant stall, looking for that leg, he misses. Telling him no, 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 no. And out of nowhere, a dragon cutter for a one, two, and three to make Faze retain his United States Championship and be able to be the one that goes 3-0 and against Zion. Zion would have to go back to the back and realize that Faze is going to be the one man that he just could not beat. Ladies and gentlemen, your reigning and defending United States Champion, none other than the Diamond and the Rough, the man that started from the bottom and worked his way to the top, the man known as Alex Viva, aka FaZe. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to congratulate this man. He worked very hard for this match. He worked hard for that title, and I respect him. But up next, we have an impromptu match. The following contest is a no disqualifications match. And it's for the Internet Championship. Ladies and gentlemen, we have Seth freaking Z answering the open challenge for the internet championship. I cannot wait to see what can he bring when he takes on Joker. This should be a very entertaining match. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the former Extreme Division Champion. The guy that had lost his title last 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 week on this event on the extreme event he lost it to mr ryan Scholler and what was a damn near show stealing match when they put each other through hell and now he's here at season beatings he sat there and drove his extreme pickup truck down here to season beatings to win the internet championship i just gotta be cautious he's going one-on-one with the guy that he beat for the extreme division championship in the first place this is gonna be some type of i would call it some, call it a, a redemption from Joker to be able to get that big win over Seth Z tonight, ladies and gentlemen. Seth Z wants to win a championship. He wants to be the guy that internet goes through. He wants to be the face of this channel. And I don't blame him. Winning that internet championship will put him in that right direction. He will be the king of extreme. No, not a king of extreme. He will be the king of the internet if he wins this title. He will bring the internet to the era of Z. And that's all I got to say to that. It will be a wondrous occasion. I just hope he can get the big win against a very game Joker. Joker's on a hot streak. He defended that title. He's defending that title every freaking time it's aired. Any time a show is aired on the network, on the MCW network, which you can subscribe right now. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the twisted, the demented, the man that know how to escape with a win. This is your internet champion. This is the man that they call Joker. This guy knows how to pick up wins. He took out some of the best. He was able to beat Cholo, and it was a five-star match. And then after that, able to take it down to the Hammerstein Ballroom, go one-on-one -on -one with Shane Douglas, end his career with a single super kick, and then go on a retribution, go one-on-one -on -one with AJ Payne able to bring the pain to him and retain his internet championship. Now he's about to sit there and put it on the line against Seth freaking Z. 
ladies and gentlemen, this man, you can call him a lot of things, you can call him a crybaby, you can call him, you can call him a sit there, a, a problem starter, but all I have to say is this man is the face of the internet, he fucking runs this channel, when you think of, when you think of MCW, you think of that Joker's face paint. That's all I got to say. He is a former U.S. champion, a two-time Extreme Division champion, and now the current Internet champion. This man has a lot of accolades, and I have to respect Joker. Now he's putting it on the line against a man called Seth Z. Challenger from Kansas City, Missouri, weighing in at 220 pounds, Seth Z. Ladies and gentlemen, that is your former Extreme Division Champion. He's getting his shot at the Internet Championship here at Season Beatings. I hope he can win. Introducing the champion from New York, weighing in at 220 pounds, he is the Internet Champion, Joe Kerr. And ladies and gentlemen, that is the former Extreme and former U.S. Champion, he is the man called Joker. He is currently your internet champion, and now he's putting the title on the line against Seth Z. Ladies and gentlemen, we are having a rematch that was once once ago. Here we go. Seth Z, Joker, internet championship. Who will win? Who will prove that the internet runs through them? Who will be the king of the Wi-Fi? Let's see. Here we go, referee. Starting the bell. Look at that. Joker's getting anxious. Look at that running at him. Seth Z made a mistake getting down. Joker's looking for a clothesline. Seth Z able to grab him with a nice standing vertical suplex. No wait. Spoke too soon. Able to knee him in the face. And now look at this. Joker looking for a standing vertical suplex of his own. Oh, dropping it down in the center of the canvas. Look at that. Joker's getting full. He has the full awareness. Look at this. Punch him into the midsection. Work the arm. Wrench it. Looking for. Oh, what a nice little flatliner right there. Able to sit here. Slam him face first into the canvas, and now Joker looking for that patent snap. Mary able to slap the back and then kick him in the chest. Oh no! Look at this. What's Joker planning on doing? Look at this. Kicking him down in the leg. Kicking him in the leg. Look at this. Oh, getting him up on his feet. No steps. He with the now with the wear and all the reversal with nice arm dragging. Now look at this. Joker with a right shot. Looking for a clothesline counter by Seth Z. Seth Z wrenching the arm. Oh, nice little tuck and roll by Joker. Able to clip him down the sides. Looking for a grapple. Oh. Look at this punch in the midsection, wrench the arm, flatliner again in the center of the ring. Nice wrestling technique. And look at this, Seth Z jumps up into a whirling derby by Joker. Slamming him dead down to the ground. And look at this, jumping the chop block. Seth Z with the in-ring awareness, able to sit there and just skip the beat with Joker. Now Seth Z got full, got the full awareness. Oh, nice forearm shots in the corner. Oh no, going up to the top rope. What is he planning on doing? Nice move so and again, the athletic awareness of Seth Z in this one is just, woo, streamlining it. Letting the fans are eating it up, loving Seth Z early on in this match. Look at this, looking for a running neck breaker. Ooh, nice counter by Joker, able to sit there, turn him around, and here goes Joker again. Running bull, running famous, are able to catch him down on the canvas. And now Joker's getting him up on his feet, looking for a move. Ooh, nice average whip by Seth Z, Seth Z with the counter. Ooh, Joker able to sit there and jaw break Seth Z down into the ground. Now Seth Z up. Ooh, able to sit there and clip down Joker down to the ground. Looking for a fight arm. Now a knee to the midsection. And now got him on the corner. And Seth Z taking him up to the top rope and just shoving him down on the outside. Seth Z, the king of extreme, is just now toying with Joker, the demented soul. The king of the internet, I would like to say. And look at this. Seth Z is now looking out Joker on the outside. Look at that, that, waiting for him to get inside the ring, he's baiting his time. If I was Seth Z, I would've went aggressively, I would've went straight after him. Shoot, I had the advantage. Look at this, and now Joker's getting back inside the ring, got still tearing off the, oh! Now look at that, Joker getting extreme on the, ex on the former king of the extreme himself. Look at this, Joker's getting him up on his feet, looking for an Irish whip, getting him into the corner. Oh, look at this, running drop kick again. Oh wait, no, Joker's looking for it a second time, and here it is, oh! Off the face of Seth Z, bringing him down to the ground. And now Joker's going back to the outside. Oh, looking outside under the ring. What is he looking for? Looking for a weapon. Looking for a patented 2x4. Maybe a kendo stick. What could he be getting? Oh, he's getting a table on Seth Z. Oh, leaving it all in the line. Sitting there crashing and burning to the outside. Go Seth Z. Look at that. But somehow Joker was able to get up first. And here it goes. Joker with a standing vertical suplex on that piece of wood. That table on the outside. And look at this. Joker's up on his feet, looking for a grapple, bringing Seth Z back in the ring, but Seth Z reversed it, bringing him in the ring, and now taunting, 
And look at that. Now Seth Z going into the ring looking for a little tool, looking for a weapon. What could Seth Z be bringing? Oh, he's getting a kendo stick. Uh oh, looking to fly. Crash and burn by Joker. And off the back of the skull, Seth Z with the kendo stick. Swinging for the fences. Off the skull again. Seth Z getting extreme now. Look at this. Oh, wait, what's Seth Z doing? Oh, he's going at the table, bringing the table inside the ring, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to be introduced to some little bit of wood in this match. Uh oh, look at this, Seth Z biting his time, look at that time to the fans in the first row, Seth Z is a crowd pleaser, he's not a bad guy, he's a good guy I would say, look at this, Seth Z going inside the lane looking at Joker, look at this running around trying to back, trying to dodge the kick and Joker, oh, looking for a springboard, misses that time, ooh, Seth Z trying to catch him, oh, a nice little running lariat, this could be here right here, one, ooh, kicked out of the count of one by Seth Z, look at this. Joker and Seth Z has had a pass here in MCW. They have feuded over the Extreme Division Championship. Seth Z was the man that was able to take the title from Joker. And now Joker has the Internet Championship. And now he's putting it on the line every day. And now Seth Z is going to take full advantage of that. And look at this. Ooh, looking for a shoulder thrust in the corner. Counter by Joker. Oh! Nice little jawbreaker. Look at this. And now Joker's good looking to take the time he has to get. Trying to get some weapons, trying to rearrange some furniture. Seth Z unconscious in the middle of the ring. That jawbreaker probably took a lot out of Seth Z. Seth Z is getting worked. He's getting manhandled and getting beaten in this one. I would have to say. Oh no, what's Seth Z doing? He's up on one knee. Look at this Joker again. And another jawbreaker soon as Seth Z gets up. What is he planning on doing? Oh no. Look at that Joker's on the outside. Getting the table in, bringing the table in. What's he planning on doing? Seth Z is getting up. He's on the middle rope. He's on the top rope looking for a move. Counter by Joker. Seth Z able to push him off. What's he planning on doing? Seth Z running around in a spear. Seth Z with that patent spear. We got him even on the table. One, two, and three. Oh, somehow Joker able to get the shoulder up. We could have had a new internet champion right then and there. Seth Z hitting that world famous spear from out of nowhere. That spear won him the Extreme Division Championship. It also put out a lot of a lot of game competitors here in the past. But somehow Joker was able to get the shoulder up in that one. Uh oh, Joker's back on his feet. Able to grab Seth Z. And now look at that, just choking out Seth Z from the back of the look at this, just stop taking the breath. Taking the life out of Seth Z. And Seth Z is sleepy and his head is cocked up against the table. Look at that, ladies and gentlemen. Seth Z is cocked up. Oh, he kicked up. He's going after Joker. Joker looking to fly. Misses, misses the missile drop kick. And Seth Z with a back to the oh, Sending him halfway across. Flying across, across the ring. Look at this. And here goes Seth Z on fire with a clothesline. Connects with another clothesline. He goes up and under. Oh, Joker able to kick him in the midsection. Seth Z able to counter that with a reversal and look at that ducking back outside the ring taking his time he's not trying to get aggressive and Joker crashing and burning to the outside Seth Z is still backing up just taking his time he's not trying to fall for the tricks that Joker may have in this one. Oh no Seth Z getting inside the ring Joker's backing up respecting the rules Seth Z going for a clothesline oh counted by Joker with a forearm shot of his own kick him in the midsection counted by Seth Z Seth Z able to pick him up with a power bomb in the center of the ring Slam them down in the canvas. Oh, Joker's just sitting there gasping for air. Seth Z working the stomps down. And now they're taunting to the fans. Seth Z wants to end this as soon as possible. He wants to win the internet championship. Look at that, untying the corner of the turnbuckle. Uh oh, but he did it too soon. Joker, oh, nice little neck breaker by Joker. Oh, no, he's getting him up on his feet. What is he planning on doing? Is he going to hit him with a finisher? No way. Seth Z counters. Got him on the table. I don't know. A nice running clothesline. Nice running jumping clothesline. While set up on the table. Didn't break the table. But damn, Joker could feel the pain from that one. Look at this. Seth Z is now stomping down Joker. He's going after the table. Taking the table outside the ring. He's not trying to sit there and fall victim to his extreme nature. This is not This is not supposed to be extreme. This is for the internet championship. This is supposed to be a wrestling technique. And look at that Joker flying through the sky on the outside, putting, sitting there with a diving cross body and with a catch Seth Z. And look at that Joker putting the table inside the ring and somehow the referee just collapsed from a sudden heart attack right there. And as soon as I say that, Seth Z with a back, ooh, nice little back suplex, singing him flying halfway across the ring. And now Seth Z with a bat in hand, Sitting there, wearing out Joker. Oh, counter by Joker. Joker able to grab the back. Oh, trying to sit there and be able to clip Joker down the side with the bat in his hand. That's just one step ahead, Seth Z is. And now look at that, going after the bat that was made famous by Adam Alexander. And look at that now, taunting in the face of the MCW fan crowd, knowing that he might walk out with the Internet Championship. 
Here is Seth Z now stomping on Joker on the outside, just wearing him out on the ground. Seth Z rearranging some furniture. What is he planning on doing? Look at that, setting the table right up in the corner. Look at that, setting the table up in the corner, rearranging some furniture. Joker still unconscious. Seth Z looking to fly. Oh, crashes and burns, landed on that piece of the table. And now Joker crashes and burns, landed on the piece of that back. Oh my god, now Seth Z and Joker going right at it on the outside. I don't know what these two competitors are planning on, but it is not pretty. Look at that, looking to grab him, Joker able to push him off, and look at that, a nice vicious clothesline. Ladies and gentlemen, falls count anywhere. Oh, look at that, Joker breaking it up right then and there. Joker's getting him up on the feet. Looking for a super kick on the outside, caught by Seth Z. Seth Z grabs the feet, grabs the leg, looking for a move. Ooh, nice barrel roll, able to dodge by Joker though. Look at that, Seth Z going back inside the ring, trying to bring the fight inside now. Look at that. He's not trying to keep the fight on the outside. That's what Joker wants it to be on the outside. Oh no. What's Joker and Seth Z planning on doing? Look at this. Oh, we're looking for another spear. Counted by Joker. Nice DDT. Joker sitting there, cocking the fist up. Seth Z in a bad position. Looking for the. Oh, a clothesline. Misses that time, but able to rebound with a bulldog. Joker making mistakes. He cannot be doing that. This is for your internet championship, boy. You need to focus. You need to gain. And look at that. Stomping him down on the ground. What's Joker planning on doing? Oh no, he's getting a steel chair again, ladies and gentlemen. What is he planning to do with that steel chair? Look at that, waiting for Seth Z to get up off the back of the off the back of Seth Z. Sitting there imprinting the back with the steel. Look at that, and now look at that, hitting him off the leg with the steel chair. Oh no. Joker sitting there taunting him one more time. Look at his oh nice running form, nice running diving elbow to Seth Z. Seth Z is on the chair in a bad position. Oh no, look at this, and now he's using the kendo stick, and now sitting there wailing the arm in the back of Seth Z, shot after shot, he is, he is just taking it extremely to the, to the man that is known as the king of extremes, oh no, look at this, Seth Z is wailing, look at this, Joker's trying to sit there, trying to choke him, he's trying to guillotine, whip him off the top of the rope, not working now, Seth Z with the counter, able to grab him, oh no, Seth Z, look at this, looking for that clothesline, ooh, able to connect that time, now look at that stomping him down. Seth Z is feeling the height. He is the height. Look at this stomping him down on the ground. Seth Z getting him up on his feet. Look at this. Looking for a move. Oh, counter by Joker. Joker with a knee to the ribs. Oh no, what's he planning on doing now? Look at this Joker getting Seth Z up on his feet. Looking for a move. Ooh, nice Irish whip. Got him in the corner. Oh no, Seth Z getting a steel chair. Oh, counter by Joker. Joker able to chop the left leg of Seth Z. Oh no, he's getting him up. He's in a very bad position. Here goes Joker. Kick him in the midsection. Oh no, Joker sitting there with that DT on top of the steel chair. Ladies and gentlemen, this could be it. One. Two and three all able to get the shoulder up somehow, some way. Seth Z was able to kick out of a DDT through the chair. No, wait. Seth Z kick him in the midsection. Seth Z line him up for a power pump and the center of the ring with the avenue and the next champion. One, two, and three all able to get the shoulder up, ladies and gentlemen. Finisher at the finisher, move at the move. I don't even know what the plan. Seth Z is on fire. If he can hit one more finisher, we can have a new internet champion. All he needs to do is get him, get him up. Hit him with one more finisher. Oh no, and Seth Z going, oh my god, off the back of Joker, and off the ribs of Joker, oh my god, move after move. Oh my god, look at this, Seth Z looking for a novice whip, oh no, somebody's about to go through the table, looking for a drop kick sidestep by Joker, oh no, what's Joker planning on doing? Joker, getting him up, looking for a standing vertical suplex, here it is, it connects on top of the steel chair, on the back part of the steel chair. Seth Z back, has to be hurt. Ooh, nice counter by Seth Z, working him in the corner, going after Steel Chair. But he's there, oh my god! Who's that? Look at this, able to grab him outside the ring. Who is that? Ladies and gentlemen, I don't know who that is, but he's going after Seth Z. Look at this, oh my blow! Ladies and gentlemen, I think that is Wade Virgil. That is the real deal. Ladies and gentlemen, he is back here in MCW. Now look at this, I was whipping him halfway across the ring. What is Wade Virgil, what is he doing to Seth Z? I thought that was his friend. Look at this. Off the post! And look at that, Wade Virgil just sitting there raising his arm up. Oh no, what is he planning on doing? No, no, no! Off the LED monitor, go Seth Z! And look at this, Wade Virgil, move after move. Oh no, he's looking for that death fight. Oh, what a TKO by Wade Virgil. Knocking down Seth Z. Seth Z is unconscious, bringing him back inside the ring. Ladies and gentlemen, this is for the internet championship. I don't know what Wade Virgil has business of with Seth Z. Oh no, Seth Z. Getting back to his feet, Joker from out of nowhere, super kick off the face, oh no, could he retain, could he win the title, could he retain, one, two, three, we are here, Joker, we're successful, defense over our very game, Seth Z, move after move.
Ladies and gentlemen, Seth D and Joker went out and had a very great match going back and forth with each other. That jumping knee strike was a complete athletic witness to see. Look at this Joker. Seth D was going right slow after right slow. Forearm after forearm shot. But this right here was just a tennis That's athletic. Look at that. You think the moon shot was able to beat down with the second man. That was just well known. And then Joker was able to answer that. This is what pain is though. This is not the completely bad case of this. This is what I thought Seth D was about to lose it. They even sit there and down. And then doubling his opponent from the top most speed outside. Look at and then look at this Christmas from the Joker delivering a running missile drop to the one right after the other and not finish yet Seth D with that quick speed flash to the outside to Joker that was just just wow and this was this is when Joker made a mistake before this is why he was able to cut his tail to the star and look at it Look at this right here. This move right here. That jaw bridge is tight. 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 That jaw just leaving his nose there with his will. And then he sent the set to the end of the opponent flying halfway across the ring. And speaking of flying, moment in the match when Joker missed the dive. And this is what he was supposed to play with. Joker was going to catch him a leg. And he was going to deliver a nice little power ball. Just to get off his chin. And that's why he's going to be a table to do it. Just to be a table to do it. This is like where the Joker keeps the outside in the test set team. And then again, the set team crashed and burned. And not also that, when Joker crashed and burned, both guys just left it all in this match. That would have to be the team Joker were both in fear. But this right here was devastating. That shot block, and then what led after the shot block, look at this lady gentlemen. He was able to kick him in the midsection, twist the arm, get a hammer lock, DDT on top of the steel chair. That ungranted steel, but this is the most shocking. That he was able to kick out of it. Look at that. The steel was doing it. And then Seth was able to counter with a finisher of his own. Able to deliver that Seth D bomb in the middle of the ring. I thought he was going to have a new one that can't be. One, two, and then Joker was able to get the shoulder out. Able to kick out of that, and then Joker able to answer that to keep them on top of the steel chair. And the good fight here. This is when Baby Baker and his Baby D Baby able to sit there, pick full advantage of a disoriented Seth D, able to low blow him, and not also that, throw him off the raincoat, haunt it in his face. Look at this, look at this, look at this, off the LED monitor. Look at this, look at this, off the monitor, sending him to the scene. And also that put him inside the ring and Joker able to finish it up with a Joker super kick that lets go one, two, and three. Joker was able to retain the internet championship. And they have both been through a little bit of controversy, but he is still the remaining, the reigning, defending internet championship champion. Able to sit there, defend the title night after night, no regard to you still. One of the greatest champions here. Thank you for watching part two of season two. I am doing Green Boy at Commentary. Thank you for watching. Tune in for the final part. Leave a like and subscribe. Thank you for watching and goodbye.